For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. For the record, for the record. Good morning, everybody. So it is another one of those days. I am just kind of dragging, not doing too good. I was up till around like midnight, 1230 last night, getting some work done and just working on some other stuff. So yeah, it's about 630, 640, 645 ish. I'm not sure exactly, but it's past 630. I know that. And we're here at the gym. Got to get a leg workout in. Couldn't put it off until tonight because I've got to go shopping. I've got to do cardio and it's just going to be a pretty busy night. So let's get in, make the best of this and get it done. Yeah, just finished my pre-workout. So hopefully that kicks in in a couple minutes. But let's go get this workout done. All right, everybody, so jumping straight into today's leg workout. This is going to be a super quick workout. We're not going to be doing anything crazy. We're just going to be doing really low rest periods, focusing on keeping the intensity as high as possible and going from one exercise right into the next and from one set right into the next set. So we're also going to be incorporating some supersets here and there. But starting off, we're going to be doing stiff leg deadlifts. On this, I'm not going super heavy, but I am going around 10 to 15 reps on this movement, doing four total sets, so a little bit higher volume, and really just focusing on one, warming up the hamstrings, glutes, posterior chain, and two, pushing a ton of blood into them to start them off. I want to get them firing, activated, and basically just ready to start working and a little bit of a pre-exhaustion. Now, once I finish that, then I move into a banded goblet squat. Now, goblet squats are generally more for targeting the quads. However, when you throw a band on, it's gonna force your glutes into activating significantly more. And this is actually one of my new favorite exercises specifically to target the glutes. So anything where you're gonna be squatting using a band, it's what it's gonna do is it's going to force you to cause your, force you to keep your knees out as opposed to letting the band pull your knees in. You really want to focus on keeping them out as wide as you can with that band, and that's going to activate your glutes. So this is a good, a really good exercise if you have the bands available. If not, focus on the glute contraction and um, perform the movement as best as you can. Now I did that one for three sets of eight to ten reps, and then we moved into a sissy squat. So this is where you have the gob or the is it similar to a goblet squat? However, it all comes down to mind muscle activation and how you perform the movement to target what muscles you want. Again, this one can be used to target quads, it can be used to target hamstrings, or in this case, I'm using it to target specifically my glutes. So look at the very top of the movement if you have to rewind and watch it again, but that little extra hip drive forward and flex is where I'm really driving through my glutes and causing that extra tight contraction. And that's where I'm specifically targeting my glutes. So I did four sets, 12 to 15 reps on that, and then I moved into single leg leg press, focusing again on the glutes and hamstrings. So foot position is gonna be really high, and we're gonna be focusing on the lower portion of the movement. Now this one is where we're gonna be basically not taking any rest period at all. We're gonna be going from one leg into the next, and then instead of resting after we've done both legs, we're gonna go straight back into the first leg. Now, on this one, like I said, with your foot position, you wanna be going a little bit higher. That's gonna allow us to activate and focus on the glute and hamstring as opposed to quads. And with this one, you're also gonna be trying to drive through your heel. So don't focus on the um, ball or the toes of your feet. Focus on driving through your heel. And this is where you can see I basically went from one into the next, into the next, and kept my rest period minimal to none from one leg to the next. So did four total sets per leg. So each leg was worked four times for a total of around 10 to 12 reps per leg on each set. Now, once I finished that, then I moved into a, bleh, a kickback machine. So typically I'd like to do this more on uh, with a cable, 
because I can actually feel and activate my glutes and hamstrings better, but because I was pressed for time, I didn't have time to find and set up cables and all that fun stuff. I just went over to the kickback machine here, and with this one, again, you're gonna be driving through your heel. That's a big key to most glute and hamstring focused movements is when you're driving through your feet, focus on driving through your heels and lifting your toes. That's gonna force you to activate and concentrate on that posterior chain more. So on this movement, again, I did four sets around 12 to 15 reps per leg, and I did not rest from leg to leg. I just kept going one leg to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next until I finished. Then we finished the leg workout off with some calves. Got to work those lower body forearms. You guys know what I'm talking about. Can't be walking around with no calves. I've been definitely trying to work them harder and harder as much as I can, but you know how it goes. They just don't want to grow very much. Definitely seeing some improvements, but I could just be getting leaner. So it is what it is. Did four sets, a little bit heavier, around eight to 10 reps. Really focusing on that pause at the bottom, getting a nice deep stretch before driving up and trying to peak the contraction and hold it, and then drive slowly back down. That's gonna be the workout. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now give me, give me. Hello, hello, yes, good morning, good morning, good morning, hello, hey, oh yes, hello, 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 oh yes, hello babies, Joey, 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 come here, you got your toy, you got your toy, you got a squeaky toy, you got a squeaky toy, you got a squeaky toy, yeah. let's turn this up a little bit, you got your squeaky toy, Bright, so bright. <laughs> oh, you got your little toy. Yeah, you little boy. Oh, you little boy. Oh, you little boy. You go go. Oh. Where's your mouth, puppies? Oh, that's bright. Come here. Hey, welcome, come here, dog. Come here. Now, come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, you. <laughs> Milo, give me. All right, so pretty good workout back home. I got to make breakfast and get ready to go, but overall, pretty quick in and out in like 45 minutes. Well, about an hour, but the workout itself was about 45 minutes. So now I am going to make some breakfast. I got to do all these dishes, blender bottles for days. <laughs> So I gotta do some dishes before I get going and before I make breakfast. Then we're gonna head to work. And tonight I'm gonna take you guys to the store and show you kind of what I'm getting for next week's meal prep. So it should be a good video. All right, let's get some cleaning and cooking done. Whee! All right, what up guys? So we are off work and it is around 6.30, almost seven o'clock. Now I am at the store, I'm at Costco right now, well, outside of Costco. And we're about to go in and basically see kind of whether or not I get kicked out with this camera, we'll have to see. I've gone in before with it, but I haven't been like filming, just I had it with me and walked in and they didn't say anything. So we'll have to see. Costco's usually not too bad. They don't really care as much. Uh, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna get some stuff here and then we're gonna head to Fred Meyer to finish up what we need. So it shouldn't be too long, but we'll see. I'm gonna take you guys through and kind of walk you through what we're getting. Now let's head in and see what happens. <laughs> Cause I haven't done this before. So first time for everything, right? Let's go.
we are finished at Costco. Now it is time to head over to Fred Meyer and pick up the last couple things that we need. So let's go. Alright everybody, we are back from the stores. Now let's go over really quickly everything we picked up this week because some of this stuff is frozen and I need to get into the freezer quickly. So start off, let's start over here. We picked up some light raspberry vinaigrette. This is some of the best low fat, good tasting um, dressing that I've had in a really long time. And I'm actually not gonna be using this this week. Kate is gonna be using it this week. So picked that up for her, she needed some more. She finished hers today. And then we got two bags of romaine lettuce. So there's six heads of lettuce in each of these. This will be for me. I'm gonna be doing two of these a day and I'm gonna be using those in my kind of taco salads that I make up with all the rice and chicken and lean ground turkey and all kinds of stuff like that. So we got 12 heads of romaine lettuce. That'll be enough to make it through Saturday of next week when I can go pick up more. After that, we've got some frozen fruit here because this week I'm doing smoothies. Oh yeah, I missed my smoothies, so I'm gonna be bringing them back. We got frozen pineapple and frozen mango. Now, if you guys have the option to go to Costco, if you have a Costco membership, I would highly recommend picking up your frozen fruit for smoothies at Costco. It's the cheapest place that I've found pretty much anywhere compared to any other store. I mean, it is like $2 a pound for each of these, and that's a pretty crazy deal for mango and for um, pineapple. Pre-cut, frozen, ready to go. This stuff is awesome for smoothies. So, got a couple of these, well, one of each of these, pineapple mango smoothies. I got two pounds of strawberries. These are also gonna be for my wife this week because I got, urgh, darn it, I didn't put this in the thumbnail. But I have watermelon. I picked up this last week, so it's left over. And I'm gonna be doing about a pound of watermelon every day, so there's that guy there. Yeah. And let's see, what else have we got? We got some oatmeal. Uh, I didn't, I'm not gonna be using oatmeal this week, but we're pretty much out, so I figured I'd pick it up anyway. I like to keep a good stock of it because it works great in smoothies, quickly, getting in some carbs, anything like that. So, picked up some oatmeal, just get it in bulk, super cheap, it's like 60 cents a pound. Now, we've got, to these last, but we've got, Non-fat Greek yogurt. This is the Kirkland Kirkland brand. Uh, I used to get the Faye, Faye, Faye. I don't know how you say it. Faye. Uh, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. The Faye zero percent Greek yogurt. But Kirkland basically came out with the exact same thing for cheaper. And actually, they stopped carrying the Faye when they started making their own. So kind of sucks, but it is what it is. This stuff is great. I use it in my smoothies. It's an excellent way to add some protein to your smoothies if you don't want to add protein by like a powder or anything like that. So I love these. They also make your smoothies really creamy and rich. So we got two of these. Now, after that, we got some frozen peas, just a bag of these. These are for my wife. I'm not gonna be eating peas. I got, let's see, we got some more lean ground turkey. I get this again from Costco, 93.7 lean ground turkey. This stuff is like $3 a pound. So usually Costco has the best price on that. However, if you watch sales, sometimes you can get it for like $2 a pound. Maybe buy one, get one free, something like that. But usually Costco has got, the, got one of the better prices around. Now, this is a four pack. And this came with 6.6 .6 pounds. So not too bad, that'll last a few weeks. The next thing I got here is 80-20 ground beef. So this is gonna be the majority of my fat for the day. I'm gonna be doing four ounce hamburgers 
And with those hamburgers, I'm gonna be doing a tablespoon of Yoshida's teriyaki sauce and one slice of pineapple. So uh, basically a teriyaki pineapple hamburger. I got the hamburger buns from Costco. That's gonna be one of my favorite meals, I love this. And of course, you guys know it, you guys love it, everybody's staple. We got chicken breast. Uh, I don't know how much chicken breast, like <laughs> seven times two, uh, we got like 12, 14 pounds of chicken breast. We'll go through about one and a half of these a week, usually around 10 pounds a week between my wife and I right now. But Fred Meyer has it for $2 a pound, which is incredibly cheap. And it's pretty lean as well. It doesn't have to be cleaned up very much, just a little bit of fat removal. So that's one of the best deals for chicken that I have found around here. And am I missing anything? Yes, I am. Staring me right in the front of my face. Got a bunch of rice cakes. Now I'm not gonna be doing rice cakes. These are again for Kate. Um, I wasn't sure what kind she wanted. She probably just wanted the plain old salted rice cakes because these are seven grams of carbs, one gram, less than one gram of protein per rice cake versus these three. Now, I haven't tried any of these flavors before. So that was kind of why I got them is I want to try them. So I'm going to throw one of these into my meals. Um, I might throw one into my meals. I have to play with my meals and see if I can fit one rice cake a day. But we got apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon. This sounds really good. And just as an example, this has 11 grams of carbs as opposed to seven. So a little bit higher in carbs. Next, we've got chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate, so I'm hoping these are really good. But these have one gram of fat and 12 grams of carbs and one gram of protein. So definitely a lot more calorie dense than the standard ones. And finally, we have buttered popcorn. And these guys, are actually pretty much the same as the standard ones. So we'll have to see how these taste. These might be a good substitute to add a little bit of flavor over the standard salted rice cakes. Cause these guys, if you guys have had them before, they're good, they're good, but they're pretty bland. So maybe a little bit of flavor, we'll have to see. This is, this might be an option later in prep. So that's what I got for right now. And last thing I got, Two dozen roses for my lovely wife. Now, as you guys may have seen, I reached for the daisies, kind of fun fact. On our very first kind of lunch date, I brought my wife, how much was it? It was like a dozen daisies, basically really light, really nice white daisies, similar to what I was gonna grab there. But those were the flowers that I brought her on our very first date. Well, very first lunch date, so yeah. I just, she's got a whole bunch of stuff going on recently. She's been doing a lot and just wanted to get her flowers, you know? You gotta do something nice every once in a while, so. Besides, they smell really nice. And they were on sale. Only $3 off, but still, they were on sale. <laughs> All right, so that is everything that we picked up for this week's grocery haul. Now, I need to get this stuff in the freezer and in the fridge. Then I am off to do 30 minutes of cardio because it's another cardio day. Yay! So let's get this stuff put away and let's head back to the gym. Woo! All right, you ready? I'm gonna do some magic here. You guys ready for this? <sighs> All right, oh, look at that. Now let's head to the gym. All right, we are back from the gym. So did 30 minutes of cardio, 320 calories on the stair mill. And then afterwards I did just a couple sets of abs, just a few things here and there. The gym was literally empty. I mean, I don't think there was another person in there besides the people getting ready to close it. It's now probably closed. I think it's about 10 o'clock at night. But I'm gonna have my last kind of treat meal for the night and it's gonna be this. So. If you guys haven't tried this before, this is kind of my fav one of my favorite tips, regardless of whether you're dieting or not, but you take watermelon, you throw it in the freezer, and it's almost as good as ice cream. Almost. I mean, when you're dieting, this is ice cream. Mmm. Oh, that's good. 
if you take this, like 50% this and you 50% non-frozen watermelon, throw that into a blender, blend it up a little bit, maybe add in a little bit of like almond milk or a little bit of Greek yogurt and some water, you basically have sorbet. I mean, this stuff is da bomb. So I'm gonna eat this. This is 450 grams of frozen watermelon. I'm gonna eat this, shower, get ready to head to bed. That's gonna be where I'm gonna call the video for today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Tomorrow, we're gonna to be going over how I set up my meals for the following week. So stay tuned for that. Go ahead and subscribe to be notified. If you wanna hit that little bell button somewhere down here, go ahead and hit that bell to be notified when the video goes live. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.